PlayStation's latest console has been out for a little while now, but recently it enabled a feature that it promised early on, expanding your internal storage. With around 825 gigabytes available on the hard drive, and less than 700 of that actually available to gamers, it's something it's needed since the beginning. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to expand your storage by installing an internal SSD in your PS5. So your first step is choosing a compatible SSD. And that's because only a few of them will work with the PS5 internally. They need to be an M2 drive and they need to fit into the allocated slot with the heatsink attached. Right now we have two top recommendations. There's the Seagate Fire CUDA 530 and the Western Digital Black SN850. We've included links to those in the description box below, so check those out for the best deal that we have found in your area. So step two is just as important and it's making sure you are on the beta software. At the time of making this video, expanding SSD storage is only available to users enrolled in Sony's beta testing system. And that means if you're not a beta user, you should stop here and not even attempt to make this work. Unless, of course, you're watching this video much further along down the line and it's available to everyone now. You can tell whether this applies to you by going to your settings menu and checking system software. If you have an update system software beta option, you should use it and update to the latest beta. So next, you turn off your PS5. Once you have a compatible drive and you're confirmed you're on the right software, power down your PS5 by holding down the power button for three seconds. Now let it cool down for a few minutes and then unplug it from the power source. Before, open the cover. Lay your PS5 down on a soft surface with the disc drive facing up, or in other words, lay it down upside down. With a little force, you can lever the white cover off the PS5 by gripping it at the top corner and lifting it up while you slide towards the base. This will then reveal the slot for the SSD, which is covered by a metal plate. Number five, remove that metal plate and install your SSD. The cover unscrews really easily just using a crosshead screwdriver, after that, it's a case of just clicking the SSD into place and secure it using the screw and spacer you'll find within. The size of your SSD determines where the screw and spacer secure it, but that's pretty obvious when you click it into its slot. The spacer goes underneath the SSD and the screw goes through the semicircular housing at the end of it. So number six, close it all up and format your disc. So from here, you basically reverse what you did at the beginning. Screw the cover back onto the slot, then reattach your PS5's white plastic side sliding it into place until it clicks solidly before hooking it back up to your power and your TV. If you've attached the drive correctly, powering up the PS5 should send you to a formatting screen to set your drive up. And once that process is complete, which took less than a minute when we did it, you'll be free to enjoy the expanded storage on your PS5. Now, if you need more granular instructions or more details on which drives are compatible and which ones aren't, PlayStation actually has a really useful guide on its site. And we've left a link for you in the description box down below. So check that out if you need to. I've been Cam. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.